Hi, I'm Linda, creator of information about arthritis. If you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button below and then click the notification bell to receive notifications of new videos when they are released. Also, don't forget to visit my website, Food with Arthritis, where you can find out more about these terrible diseases and download free articles. The new biologic modifiers are a brand new type of drug that significantly improves the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Biologic drugs are a type of disease modifying anti rheumatic drug which are mainly prescribed when the conventional drugs are not working for you. When you first get diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, your doctor may put you on drug therapy that could help you with your joint damage. Your doctor may also start you on a biological drug. This type of drug targets part of the immune system that helps with your inflammation and is genetically engineered protein. It has been found that the biologic drug is better for rheumatoid arthritis than disease modify anti-rheumatic drugs. But with every drug, there are some side effects. For example, you could develop an infection of the lungs or damage to the liver. Also, you may have difficulty making new blood cells. You could feel nausea, pain and swelling in the injection site. And you could be at a high risk of developing certain types of cancer. The biologic drug could cause a dormant infection to become active again. If this occurs, you should have a tuberculosis test and a hepatitis screen before taking the drug. The major benefits are that it can be life-changing for those of you with inflammatory arthritis. There are four types of biological drugs that can have risks as well as benefits. The first one is TNF or tumor necrosis factor inhibitor. The benefits of this drug can decrease the progression of the disease and inflammation is reduced. Your symptom could improve within the first two to three doses. There are three drugs in this group that are safe for children and pregnant women. But, the risk factor is that you may have an increase in infection especially tuberculosis and fungal infection. You may also be at risk of certain cancer if taking a tanacept. Also, you could develop multiple sclerosis if taken for a long time. The second one is B-cell inhibitor. The benefit of this one is that it's commonly used to treat rheumatoid arthritis when other drugs have no effect. You take these one two times over a fortnight apart, and this could last approximately a year. The risk factor of having the B-cell inhibitor is that it can cause changes in your blood pressure. Other risk factor of taking this drug is chest pain, difficulty breathing and a rash. The third one is interleukin inhibitors. This one is used when people have no effect from the TNF. The risk factor is that you may develop bowel perforation. You should also look out for your body temperature, stomach aches, bowel movement is unusual, symptoms of headaches. The fourth is selective co-stimulation modulators, which are the first line of treatment for people with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, but is prescribed after you have tried other DMARDs like methotrexate that does not work successfully. It also benefits children with juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Before you have your infusion, you will have pre-meds. This will help if you have any reaction. After the infusion is done, you may experience pain and swelling around the injection site. The surrounding area could have redness or a rash, or you may become nausea or have a headache. Also, after you have the infusion the injection site may be open to infection. In this case you should be extra careful as you could develop colds, sore throat, bronchitis, sinus problem and much more. To avoid these infections, you should wash your hands frequently, try to avoid public places, if anyone is sick they should not visit you. Avoid swimming pools, lakes and hot tubs. The list is endless. The basic safety procedure for injecting yourself include, as soon as you get your medication, always store in the fridge and out of light, but do not freeze. Also do not shake the drug or syringes. Wear gloves and keep the area sterile and free from contamination. When finished be sure to discard the syringe in your shark box. Some pharmacists and infusion centers may provide these free of charge and dispose of them for you. Always consult your doctor if you are worried about anything like unusual symptoms, such as fever or other signs you cannot explain. Unfortunately, if you already have a liver problem you won't be able to have any biologic infusion. Also, if you already have an inactive infection the biologic drug can cause it to be active again. But, saying that, 
biologics are more affected and better to manage than the old type of medication for rheumatoid arthritis. I hope this video has helped, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and receive notifications when new videos are released.